is probably one and you and I may be the others. <laughs> oh, there you go. We, we are really early. Linda, are you here? Are you one of the ones? I'm waiting to see how, I don't know how comments come up with us like this. But we look good. <laughs> and so I'm so glad this worked. Last time it was a total failure. Oh, uh, what did you what were, what did you do wrong? Did you have you did you figure something out? Uh no. I, all I did was I refreshed or updated my uh, uh -huh. app, and so did you. And that was like the first recommendation they had was to update the app before you do it. I see. Okay. I don't know what happened with those other two. I thought I could um, adjust and, um, you know, edit things and even um, delete videos, but I couldn't seem to delete those two test videos that we were doing. Hello. I saw somebody there. Hi, Sherry Lynn. Travels with Tia the Terror. Dale. Dale from Massachusetts. Okay. And Connie, hiya, Connie. Haven't talked to you for a while. We're still figuring this out with a guest. How do we look? Do you see two people? Hi, Dreamer. Just got home from Courtside. That's exciting. Oh, good. You met Travel Grandma. Great. Uh, Peggy Bayer. Hey. Let's see. We're this is this is all kind of new stuff to us. Doing a, can you see both of us? You see two people? Do you see Lulu and me? And it sounds good too. That's good. Sherry Lynn. <laughs> Does everybody see Lulu too? Can you hear me okay? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, good. Yay. All right. We've got 20 people on here. That's great. Wonderful. Got four likes. <laughs> uh, Linda should be coming on soon. I think we're a little early, aren't we? Still early? You can see a clock there. What do you got? Five, five, five. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's just chat till they get here. It doesn't really start for five more minutes, but this is new technology to us, you know. So, what's the weather where you are? Uh, it's warm. It's warm. It's getting cooler now. I put a just a little denim jacket on. It's pretty warm. What about you? It's freezing. Freezing? Freezing. Snow. It snowed today. And I, I I usually enjoy shoveling. I mean, if you if you live here, like you, you gotta make friends with the snow. You know what I mean? Or you yeah. just be miserable every day. So the snow is pretty and I don't mind shoveling, but it was so heavy I couldn't pick it up. I just I was like, I was like, I'm gonna bake break my back. So I stopped and then I came in and I said to my son, Can you go shovel? <laughs> yeah you got to be careful with that i think it uh you don't you don't get hot when you're doing it so you might not realize when you overdo it so that's what i've heard i don't shovel snow i don't remember if i ever shovel snow i've been in snow but yeah no i don't think i ever did yeah. i remember scraping it off of a windshield though when i was in south dakota i definitely remember that but <laughs> not shoveling yeah yeah, I always had people around me saying, give me that, you're going to break it, or give me that, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> Sounds like I was a pr princess, but I just didn't learn as much as I could have to be self-sufficient, you know, yeah, as if, yeah. if people hadn't taken things away from me. Right. Cold in the UK. Hi, Stephen. Cynthia, sunny Florida. Yeah. Somerville, South Carolina, it's beautiful. We both look and sound perfectly clear. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I am in a parking lot, guys. So, you know, <laughs> I am literally in a parking lot. So I'm going to be losing light pretty soon. You're but a family. I, got some I got some lights here. So, so I think when it's going to work. When you live in a van, you just pull over and do what you got to do. Yeah, that's that's the fun <laughs> part. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah. Figuring out what to do next. Yep. And how to do it. Self-sufficient. Yep. Pioneers. <laughs> Troubleshooting. Adventurers. <All> <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I 
lots of snow in Utah. Oh, Utah is beautiful. I didn't spend near enough time in Utah. Gonna have to go back and do that. Northeast for sure this year. Well, I say for sure. <laughs> I'm a butterfly. I don't have to straight fly in a straight line. Don't have to make plans. Hey, Linda. How's our time? So I'm Five, just going to start at six. 58. Oh, wait, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are those the longest two minutes when you're watching them, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're on hold, everybody. Talk to much yourself. <laughs> Is that how you say that? Can, Lulu, just as an experiment, can you see uh, the questions on the screen? Uh, they come up, but then they go. Right. Well, you can touch the screen and scroll, I believe. Try that. You can scroll back a little bit and scroll forward. I don't have anything right now, but when somebody puts a comment, I can see that and everything else, but then it goes away. How do I get it back? I think you just touch it again and move it. No? No, it's gone. Probably from my different. Yeah, probably different for you. Well, between Linda and I, we'll make sure you get all the questions and comments and so forth. It's okay. getting dark here. I'm going to lock my door. <laughs> I want to. I'm just oh. fine. Your sound went out for a minute there. Oh, yeah. But... If, uh, some kind of message came up. Oh, oh. Yeah. I hope I don't get any messages. Let me. Okay, another experiment here. I'm going to turn the sound down so that if I get messages, I forgot to turn them off. So uh, I'll, you'll see my lips moving. If I don't, I'm going to see if it if you still hear me. Okay, can you still hear me? Yep. Okay, I can't hear you as well. But anyway, turning it down will keep uh, keep the uh, notifications from blowing everybody's ears out. I forgot to turn them off. <laughs> Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Yay. <laughs> Hi, April and Kim Rowan and Rhonda. Hello, everybody. Okay, here we have her. Lulu's here. You guys, you had a lot of questions for her. Her by her for my channel, her video went. The mothers wouldn't call that viral, but give it some time. You know, a few months from now, people will still be watching that video and um, enjoying it. Um, that was fun to do. That was at the women's meetup. And um, Lula's gonna tell us a little bit about her story and she has an announcement. So we're gonna keep up with your questions that you have, anything on her build or her plans as she goes. So take it away, Lulu, tell us about your new plans. My new plans for my next trip? Well, no, your your announcement. Tell us oh. a little bit about your, just a little about yourself and, and because some of them may not have seen your video. So just tell us a little oh. bit about yourself and your travels and then your new announcement. Okay. So for those of you that didn't see my video, um, so I have a Dodge Grand Caravan minivan camper that um, I converted uh, mostly myself with the help of a couple of carpenter friends. Um, I, I always say like, you know, I have the, the carpenter friend. This is the guy that knows what he's doing, but I was the boss. Yeah. <laughs> I just bossed him around the whole time. <laughs> no nope, project nope, engineer. <laughs> I need this. Hit. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so I just got, cause I wanted exactly what I wanted, you know? And, um, so, you know, I've taken, taken, several trips uh i'm gonna say i bought it uh, maybe about five years ago and i um i just it's it's probably on its like fifth version just because you know my needs change well not not that my needs change no actually they do because the longer i'm away like the more things for me the more things i run into that need solving that really don't need solving. If you're just on a, a short trip, if you're going away for a week, a lot of things are manageable. If you're going away for a few months or if you're living in your minivan, you kind of need your things just how you need them, <laughs> you know, because it's going to start wearing you down. And um, 
but I just love it. And I just got back. I, I met Jan down at a, um, at the, it was a hundred women from the van, uh, senior women van life, um, group on Facebook. I've met so many people on there. Oh my goodness. Just, it's just, so, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. All the friendships and, um, and, um, so yeah, so I'm just, I have another trip in the works. I'm just in the process of the planning stages of it, you know, the, the couple of weeks that are leading up to it. And, you know, I just, I, I love this part of it. Like I, I love planning it. I love, um, getting the van all ready. And then I have my mechanic check it all out before I go on a trip. Cause it is 18 years old. It's an old vehicle, but I love it. And I don't want it. I don't want to change it. <laughs> You know, every so often I wish I could stand up, but I don't need like a newer one. As long as this thing is running and it hasn't let me down yet, uh, I'm just going for it. I just, I just like it and have everything the way I enjoy it. And uh, so, yeah, so I met Linda, um, excuse me, Jan at the, um, uh, at the, at that event. And um, she toured my van and her, her tour is on her channel. And like she said, it's, it's doing very well. So it, just shows me that, you know, what I'm showing people, the, the comments that are really, really touching me are the comments like, Oh my God, I have such great ideas for my build. Thank you so much. I know I, one woman said, um, I just had my whole van build planned out and I just like deleted the whole thing. I'm starting <laughs> over again. And I just thought like, Oh, you know, just like catching people bef before they spend the money and, and, you know, to, for something that they're going to change eventually. And it's like, Oh, I'm, I'm just so grateful to have reached those people because it's like, it just brings me joy. You know, it brings me joy in a, in a, in a humble way. I feel like I just love, um, to just share to share, you know, to share. We find that at meetups, don't we, that there's a lot of sharing going on. You know, you, you get really close to people quickly and it just, people are more open out in the open, in the open air. People yeah. are just more open. I find that. Yes. I don't know if it's the kind of people or if it's actually being out there that does it, but uh, yeah. we do have kind of a question or a suggestion from Kim Rowan. She says, talk Lulu into getting her own channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Twist my arm. I, I heard that. I, I heard that a lot. I heard that. <laughs> Are you there? Yeah, Jan, you just, you, you lagged for me. I don't know. Did I lag for you? Oh, uh, no. No, you're back. It was a little, okay. lag, maybe a little, a little oh, internet. I don't lag. know. If, I hope it's not my internet connection. Yeah, but you're back. That's what's important. Okay. Did you hear the question? I did hear the question. And I, I've been hearing that question for about five years. Before I even got a van, people were saying to me, you should get a YouTube channel. And uh, just for the, like the different things, I have a lot of just, interesting things in my life and interesting things that I love to do. And this is, this is one of them. And, um, people have been saying that to me for years and I'm like, yeah, I'm all set with that. You know, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to work that hard. <laughs> so anyway, it can now be I'm hard. Retired, but now I'm since retired. So I have all the time in the world now. And, um, but this last video that you posted and all the comments and to see, like, it made me feel like this, like, like, I mean, there are like a thousand comments that must be like with questions and stuff and people, it's a bunch. there's just so many. And I just thought like, and, and a lot of them said, what's Lulu's channel, you know? So I decided to get a channel. So I have a channel. I have a channel with Jan's help. Jan helped me out. Uh, she's a wonderful mentor. And um, I started a channel and I made a first video and um i don't know about this editing stuff so i have my sons do i, I send them the, i sent them the videos and i'm like can you just put this together to make it look like something <laughs> oh my goodness and, i bet uh, you'll end up doing it though i bet you are you're very creative and the way you put things together i'm pretty sure you will start putting them together yourself yeah um yeah, you know, I don't, I don't want them to be fancy or anything. I don't need, I'm not, I, I can't really see myself like setting the camera up like across the street and then 
crossing the street and then coming back, walking and, and then going back and getting my phone. Like, I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah, <laughs> like, I haven't no. done that. No, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I just I just want to set it up and I want to capture, um, you know, activities that I feel will be useful for somebody to get like like a, a full scope picture of what this is what this is like. So right now. I just did like an introductory video. And then so what I'll do from now until um, I leave on my trip will be uh, preparing for a trip because that's a, just a real fun part of it. You know, it's a real fun part of it, preparing and sprucing things up and tweaking some things from the last trip that, you know, could um work better like oh i think i'm gonna put this in this on this shelf instead of over here you know for access and you just kind of figure it out you know but so it's funny though because my my son was um editing my video and he was trying to like cut things you know cut things out you know legs and things where i but i'm I'm Italian. I talk with my hands. So my hands are always going. Right. And he's just like, so when he's chopping, my hands are like this, then they're like this, then they're like this, you know? So that's, I'm gonna, that's I'm, good though. That's I'm the way gonna, to do it. Yeah. But I'm going to have to sit on my hands if, if he's going to do any chopping, you know, but um, it just look kind of funny, but you know, I guess everybody's looks at this. Yeah. You'll see a lot of chopping in mine. Well, I think that's good. Um, by the way, everybody, I'm not looking right at you like I usually do because the way that this is set up on YouTube, when you have two people, Lula's down here <laughs> on my phone is um, a, a portrait up and down. And so I'm up here and Lulu's down here. So I keep looking down at Lulu instead of up at you. So and I must me. be looking that's down just the way because it yeah. you're on the bottom for me. <laughs> yeah. So that's the same for both of us. Right. Um, we, we do have, um, uh, Lulu has a name for her channel too. So we might as well tell them that and yeah. how it's spelled. So we make sure they get to it. Oh. I got to be her first subscriber, I believe. Yeah. I think I was the first one to watch it. So, yeah. um, I named my channel Lulu's way. So it's L U L U apostrophe S W A Y. And it's like, I kind of just do everything my way. I just do it my way. And, you know, everybody has their way. And I, I love watching other people's ways. And, uh, but I just have my own way. <laughs> and I think that's, uh, that's a big part of van life, yep. especially, maybe more especially for older women and maybe older women, men too, but more so women, I think is, <coughs> excuse me is uh, it's our freedom, you know, and getting to do things our yeah. no encumberments and like you said in your video, you know, just I can get do out and anything do anything I want. That's, <laughs> That's what I right. said in the video. I can do anything I want. <laughs> you know? Yes. It's, it's good. Life is it's good. It's gonna be a good channel. I mean it's her first video, very first video. Um I know mine was kind of goofy i had the camera right up in my face and i <laughs> i didn't i thought it was practicing i didn't know i was ever going to use it I ended up using little clips of it in different videos because i was kind of like a prologue i didn't know it at the time that i was predicting things for the future so yeah yours you've got a good start there you look very natural and uh i can't wait to see your travels yeah thank you i look forward to it I'm looking forward to, um, I think my son is working on my next one right now. Oh, I good. You've already I got it in a, works. I sent him a bunch of footage that I did in my garage. Now, you see, the lighting wasn't really great in my garage. I tried the best I could, but I, I couldn't go outside because it's like freezing and snowing. <laughs> so I was like, I just set up all my shop lights and, you know, you just work with what you got. I had all That's my right. shop lights up. The stuff when I'm down there doing projects and stuff, I have all these shop lights and and so I just put the shop lights on and we'll see how it comes out. But eventually yeah. I will I will figure out, you know, you know, gone are the days of the uh, perfectionism, you know, yeah. I, gave up, I gave up perfectionism the day that I realized that it was a goal that was never going to be achieved ever, ever. <laughs> so <laughs> right? you accept yourself and you just work with and reality, like, well, right? I have a goal. Isn't that I yeah. think that's why people watch YouTube. They're looking for reality. And yeah. uh, and that's what you're going with is, um, you know, just uh, 
it's it's not reactive, is it? I was going to say it was kind of a reactive way to be because as things come to us, we figure it out. But then again, it's often a lot of planning, so that <laughs> does so that what I started to say wouldn't work at all. It's not just reactive. There's a lot of planning in what we do. Isn't There's there? a lot of planning, but you know, you can plan and then boom, there everything gets turned around, and you got to come up with another plan. But it's yeah. kind of fun, you know. You get on the road, and you just I don't know, like how far I'm going to go. I don't know where I'm going to sleep. I just figure out it always works, especially in a minivan. You really don't. You don't have to, yeah. You have way more options. That's why yeah. anytime I think about upgrading, because now that I've, I bought the minivan because I said, Oh, I'm just going to um, try this out. You know, just, I just, that's why I bought an old vehicle. It was like, this was before minivans got really expensive. You know how they like they're really expensive now, even used ones. Well, when I bought mine, it was in like 2018, I think. Um, it was nineteen hundred dollars. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! You know, Try that now, now, right? I know. <laughs> it ran like a charm, and uh -huh. um, but I do, I do, you know, um, suggest that anybody that buys an old vehicle, like, get it checked out. I pay, I pay a hundred dollars, hundred and ten dollars. My mechanic charges for me to go and. Um, have him check out, check it out, check it out. So what I did was, uh, the van was twenty nine hundred. I said, can I take it to my mechanic and have it check it out? He gave me the keys. I left my car at his house, drove to my mechanic, paid one hundred and ten dollars, and he said it needs four new tires and it needs new brakes. He says I don't even want you to drive it back to him. The tires look like they're gonna, right? And I don't think I would have looked at that, you know. And um, and he said, and the brakes are shot. So I said, how much for that? He said, a thousand. It'll be about a thousand for the four tires in the brake job. So I went back and I said, my mechanic says it needs this and this is a thousand. So instead of twenty nine hundred, can you take nineteen? And he said, yeah. Oh. So I'm just I'm just saying I strongly suggest that money will pay for itself. Like if you're going to put a van together, and you know funds are low, and that hundred and ten dollars is a lot of money, but it's going to pay for itself. Yeah, getting the mechanic to truly check it over before yeah, you it buy it. And before somebody... you go on trips, really. Yeah, yeah. every for, time for I go older van, trip, yeah. I have an appointment. He's going to take it this Tuesday. And he just mm -hmm. takes it, and I just say, whatever it needs, whatever it needs, just do it. You right. know, it's, it, like if anything looks like it's going to go, just swap it out because I don't want it to happen on the road. And yeah. Sometimes he fixes something. The last time this trip that I went on that I met you, uh, he said, no, you're all you're good to go. Change the oil. You're good. So now we'll go in this time and, you know, we'll see what happens. But you got to get your chair turned around, too. <laughs> I have to get my chair turned around. Yeah, that's that's too, every time I have him turn it around. That's two hundred dollars. That's, yeah. kind of, that's kind of a hefty price tag, but it's so worth having it turned around. Then when I get home. Consider just leaving it like that, but then I just have people I have, you know, that driving with me, they can't drive backwards, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I have yeah, I don't know how legal that here. would be. No, I know. So about like what like three, four weeks ago, I had him turn it around. Now he's turning it back around. But <laughs> it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Cause it's like I have a recliner and it gives me like another four feet of space. Mm -hmm. And it's really worth it. So I just love, you know, when I think about upgrading, uh, you know, there's pros and cons to every vehicle, you know, yep. and I just know that I love my, you know, it's, I can, it just, I can park anywhere. I can sleep overnight just about anywhere, you know, yep. and. Uh, you uh, don't have trouble turning around. You don't have to go on Google Maps and uh, Google Earth and zoom in to see if the parking lot's big enough for you to turn around. I I watched, I just had to change campsites at the campground that I'm at. And um, as I was pulling out to come here to the library for this, uh, for this live, um, a, a woman by herself came in in a small class A pulling another vehicle. And she looked like she really knew what she was doing. I hope to meet her tomorrow and uh, and talk to her because um, she she really looked like she knew what she was doing, but she didn't look particularly happy to be doing all the stuff she was having to do, <laughs> like the way that she was having to back in and, you know, taking time. And uh, I don't know. All I do is just pull in. I do put, I put my window covers up. Yeah. But, uh, 
you know, I guess you got to plug in too. But I could just stop and crawl in the back too, for that matter. So, right, right. yeah, it's easy. It's just easy. It's easy, easy to drive. I, you know, I don't have any system. Fun to drive. Comfort. I mean, if what you do is travel, not camp, I'm be, I will be so glad to get back to traveling, not just camping. I want to do some of both. But um, then, then the way the vehicle feels to you to drive becomes more important if your main interest is in um, adventuring and travel. Let's oh, see. you know, so, somebody just um, posted about that outdoor dash uh, woman. Um, yeah. I met her. I met her. Oh, you I did? Met her, I met her at um, Gutted, that yeah. event called Gutted, and that was in uh -huh. Missouri, and that was in October. And I met her there. She did a little a little uh, beginner's introductory, introductory little session with a group of people showing that course. I just saw somebody wrote that. Uh -huh. it, it just left my screen, so I I, I can't. Yeah, what it. course was that? What kind it of course? On, was it was on video editing. Oh, video editing. Yeah, I yeah. saw that at Travel Grandma's too. Uh, yeah, I met her there. Yeah. So so yeah so I did a a couple of little steps with her, and um, mm -hmm. I, you should have seen it. <laughs> it was a bunch of women. We were all like, "Oh wow, <laughs> I just did that," you know. <laughs> so today um, I said my my son did my thumbnail. But every time he did it, he'd come back and I'll be like, I need you to move this over here. And then he'd go, he'd come <laughs> That's up. That's why you're like, going to want to do it yourself, it. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> but he, I just kept sending him back to do it different. So today I was like, let me see if I can teach myself thumbnails. So I went on Canva. It's a, uh -huh. uh, do you know, do you know that app? I've heard of it. I've never used it. Oh, so yeah, it's just like, it has all these templates, just like pull one in and just change it to your words and pull out the pictures and put yours in. And I was like, oh, I made a good one. Oh, is that what you use? You didn't use that though for your video, first video, did you? No, it's not for video. It's for uh, thumbnails. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's to I create have a program. really, really cool ones. Uh, I'll have to look that up. So I'm, I free. love learning and I'm learning every day. I learn from everybody I meet. Canva, I will absolutely look that Canva, up. C-A-N-V-A. Yeah, I just, um, I just, went on YouTube about ask, just said, how do you make a thumbnail? And then somebody talked about Canva that it's a free, I mean, you can get like, you can pay for an app. You can pay for it too. It with, probably has other bells and whistles, but I don't need any bells and whistles at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not one. Yeah, bell, you not can one get whistle. very, you can do YouTube as simply as pulling out your phone and just, I yeah. mean, really doing it live. With right. no editing whatsoever. And then it's a right. video after it's live and people can watch a replay of it. Um, that's probably the simplest. Or you can um, record it with your phone and then upload it from your phone. Uh, yep. And there are free apps that you can edit a little bit. I get a little complicated sometimes. <laughs> I have a lot of layers. You know, I'll have, um, you know, I'll put uh, somebody will be talking about something and I'll put a still picture in there. Maybe I do a lot of pan and zoom. Um, you know, I'm, I take a long time on each one. You're, Not, you're really good at it. Like I know, really I, like your. I was noticing my my son and I were both talking about it. We we really were impressed with your editing style. That just kind of like that real nice flow of um, uh, you know, when you do those abrupt cuts into the next cut. I don't know. It just, it doesn't feel yeah. like something was just cut, but it, it clearly was, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not offensive. You know, yeah, it's, it, it's for flow. It makes the flow better rather than having, you know, like long pauses or, um, yeah. uh, you know, or repetitions. It's better if you can cut some of that out. And also when I am chopping up a video, I feel like I'm whittling. I'm taking away the parts we don't need. So I then I have, you know, this these all these other little parts that I've cut up when I've whittled it down. And you can rearrange it. You can take something from the middle and that yeah. sounds really good to grab somebody at the front. And you can take something from over here and put it at the end. I especially like that to at the end to put something like like your bear story that had to go at the end. 
<laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves your bear story. <laughs> I know everyone loves that. <laughs> yeah. Well, one thing, and if anybody else is interested in in video editing, uh, the first thing that I think uh, I I learned right away because I did it was to using too many little fancy transitions between what should be just a cut. I mean, when what you're watching TV, how many times do you what do you see them use a little fluttery, flowy kind of uh, mm -hmm. maybe a fade to black, rarely or maybe a dissolve between two scenes where they just softly move into the other. But that's that's pretty rare if you're watching TV. It's a jump cut, it's called, oh. where it just cuts off and goes. And then there's an L and a J, and we won't get into all that. <laughs> there, there are oh, a lot of other... Oh, you're a pro now. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've, I've actually... You I've got, I used to do... And everything. <laughs> well, yeah, I've... Um, I've I, did it quite I did it a lot about 15 years ago I did a, a lot of video I don't know if there was there a YouTube 15 years ago maybe I didn't know much about it though if there was but uh, yeah I was just doing it as a hobby um but the camera were there were giant cameras yeah 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 it was one like not quite as big as a TV studio, but you had to carry it on your shoulder. It was that big. It was big. That and, was the you know, there was, was I don't think there was such a thing as a cell phone <laughs> at that time, you know, a little over 15 years ago. So anyway, I had some experience before. Yeah. Um, someone asked for your background. My background? Yeah. Oh, well, let me see. How far back? Background in travel, maybe as it relates to your channel and maybe where you where you live, um, you know, what state you're living in and maybe what you did as a as a, a career. Yeah. So I live in Massachusetts and um, I have a I just retired. Um, two and a half years ago from a 45 year career at working in major law firms as a in the uh, document production specialist. Mm -hmm. So I do have experience with document production, PowerPoint and Excel and all that. So it's not like I don't know, you know what it is? I don't want to learn anything new, <laughs> especially <laughs> with the technology. Cause I was like, I just retired from all of that. You know, we were having so many training sessions with all, every time there was a training for this, because now this is all new, new software for this and new, this and new that. And I was just like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I'm just well, I hope you I hope you will see this as creative and not like yes. a have to thing. But let me um, tell you this. Uh, oh your sound is gone again. Oh, there you yeah, are. Yeah, I had a little notice come up. Oh, oh. Um, CC Campy La Camper Lady said, I watch videos for information. The editing or photography doesn't have to be perfect. That's great. That's very encouraging. I I like doing it so much that I, I can't make it perfect because I'm not. But I, I, I enjoy, um, you know, creating something. Yeah. I, I really enjoy the editing part. And I know a lot of people probably don't. Yeah. But um, but I do, you know, I like to paint, I used to do a lot of hobby creative things. So to me, um, I just, I just do because I want to, and I don't know if it comes out better because I work harder on it or just because that's the way I want to do it. But you, yeah. the, their point is you don't have to. And I think that's very encouraging because people want it natural and real. And um, so, yeah, it, it yeah. goes either way. And, you know, in, the, in my career, like, I know that feeling of, you know, you have a project and now, you know, it's, it's up to you to, um, you know, make everything look amazing, you know, for these court documents or whatever documents I'm preparing and or somebody that's got to do a big slideshow presentation. And it's like a lot of it's just your own judgment and your own with your own experience. And like I said, I did it for 45 years. So I, oh hope, I, I hope I was good at it. <laughs> well, I could tell you the very beginning of my um ever doing a video i was working for a nonprofit, and i had to go out and give speeches on the environment and the animals that were around and all this kind of stuff and it was so backwards that they had an old carousel with slides where you do the little clicky thing and another oh, yeah. slide <laughs> comes around and i just thought that was the most boring thing in the world you know i mean it was good information but it was boring and 
So um, as someone said PowerPoint, I didn't know what PowerPoint was, but I um, started sticking pictures in there and playing around with it. And then this really wonderful guy that I was working with there, a very generous, wonderful person. Hi, Ed, if you ever see this, um, he just came over the top of my, I don't know if you call it transom or whatever it is, where you're, you know, where you have a desk. And anyway, he hands me this program of Pinnacle Studio. And he says, here, see what you can do with this. So I started loading all those pictures up in there and doing all this kind of stuff to it. And and I had a documentary in a couple of weeks, voiceover, all these fancy things and music and all this kind of stuff. I just discovered something that for me was, I just was fascinated by it. So that was my beginning in all of it. So it really does relate back to PowerPoint. It's storytelling. It's a beginning, middle, and an end. You have yeah. to, it's just, you know, it's it's really storytelling. And Lulu has a story. Hi, Connie <laughs> Max. Thank you for the super chat. I think that's what they call them. I don't think those these chats very often but say thank you so much, Connie. Yes, Connie, we do have, uh, I think I saw you talking about Facebook. We have a uh, women's Facebook group. It's called um, Butterfly Tribe Women Who Camp. If you want to look that up, we'd love to have you join Butterfly Tribe Women Who Camp. Um, and it's, 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 uh, we talk about all things camping and meetups and, you know, all kinds of information exchange. Um, Catherine Firestone, it's your first for you. I want to say hi from Riverside, California, wanting to become a van camper. Scared. Oh, bless your heart. Mm -hmm. um, she's scared. What do you say? What do you say for someone who has anxiety? Um, well, what what is she afraid of? Is yeah, she that's a good point. It, it might be just in general. It could yeah. be just I mean, in general. Are you afraid of, like, that you're, of your safety? Are you afraid of making the investment? Are you afraid you're not going to like it? Like, right. I think that's important to know because, um, you know, you, if if you're afraid of not liking it, I I can relate to that because I I was thinking, you know, am I just like watching these people on YouTube and I'm getting all like fascinated and like I'm going to do it? It's going to be I'm not, I'm not even going to like it. But then I just thought one day I was just like, how do I know? Like really, how am I going to know unless I do it? So I just thought I'm going to just do it on the cheap, doing it on the cheap. Nineteen hundred dollar van took mm -hmm. all the seats out, and um, I have a carpenter friend came over we put a floor in and then after your floor is in because once you take those seats out of a minivan you got all these bolts and everything sticking out that all the seats go on and and it's treacherous you know so just put a a a, a, a floor in we made the template i worked with them so i i we made the template out of cardboard and then you know sawed the whole thing out and put it and then we made the um the little access panels to get under where like the stow and go seats went. And once that's in, you're good to go. Like you just throw a mattress on the floor and it's mm -hmm. just a bunch of crates of stuff. And then you go and you'll be like, wow, that was annoying because it's hard when you, everything's in containers and you don't have any place to put anything down. And then, but then what you do with that, instead of coming home and saying, well, that was lousy. I hate this. You just say, what do I need to do? Like, what was it that was driving me crazy? What do I need to change? And then you just change it. Even like what I did, this is what I did. I was like, I need like some uh, like height, like store, like vertical storage. And I need to be able to like put things someplace. So I went to Salvation Army. I found a wood, uh, like it was like a changing table, like a baby changing table. It was like three. So it was three levels and each the bottom shelf and the middle shelf had two big huge bins like um like wicker bins so i was like i'm getting that it was 20 dollars, and i think it was like it was like on sale for 10 or something it was like nothing and it fit right in my van my little mattress was here and all those bins i just filled up with stuff you know and then like on the side of it i was screwing in hooks now I had places to hook things and hang things. And you just like work with what you got, you know? And um, and then and then I was like, now I really feel like I need my bed off the ground instead of sitting like 
like with my legs crossed all the time on the ground, I was like, I need to like sit and be able to put my legs over the edge. Like that would just be a game changer. So then I just made that happen. I just piece by piece, piece by piece until yeah. you just, and, and you know something, I don't think it ends because I'm going on this trip now and you would think by my, my van tour, if anybody hasn't seen my van tour on Jan's channel, you need to go watch that. Yeah. Um, but, um, cause you'll see everything that I'm talking about, but, um, uh, even this trip I'm going on and you would think I'm all dialed in, right? Everything. I look very dialed in and you then, do. You know, I got it all, but you know, I've, I've got like a handful of things, just a few things that I'm like, Nope, I'm going to do a couple little, I made a little table because I, I need, I wanted a little bit more counter space and I found the perfect spot for it and I custom made it. Do I, I don't know how to build furniture. I, I just, I just, I just cut four pieces of wood that were the same way. <laughs> and then I measured, I measured how much I wanted the table, the tabletop. And then I just bought those, um, like those little L brackets. And I just put them on the leg and the table and put one on each. And, and it's like, is it straight? Not really. <laughs> is it sturdy? Oh, well, I mean, I'm not going to serve Thanksgiving dinner on it. I'm just going to yeah. maybe put, put like it's a just just for you or in my uh, or a cup of coffee on it, you know, and it's not, you know, it's, it's perfect. It's just perfect. You know? So you just kind of, you just swing it. So I said, no, I need a table. Cause I was putting things down on top of my power station. And I thought to myself, one of these days, that's not going to end well, you know, me and my not end well, <laughs> I was yes. like, this is not going to end well because <laughs> I'm going to put something down on there because the top of it's the size of like a tabletop. And I'm like, something's going to spill. And all of this is going to end up in my inside my power station. I'm going to be, it's going to not be good. So I said, I need to put something, a table over it. So that's what I did. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I have some things that I need to change out and, and Tweaking. it's kind of like the fun part though. Yeah. You know? yeah. Making little changes. Yeah. Um, I have several videos on my channel. Um, I call it everything a van tour. If, you know, it to me, it's a genre. It's like a mystery or a love story. This genre is van tour. It, I think one of my next ones, not the next, but pretty soon I'm going to do the most adorable couple and the most adorable little, uh, what do you call those little tiny cars? A uh, Mini Cooper pulling a teardrop. And, but it's just the cutest thing. They built this teardrop themselves out of a kit um, of a company that makes airplanes. And it's yeah. just adorable. But I still am going to call that a van tour because that's the genre. <laughs> but I wanted to really talk just a second about the, um, or a few seconds, <laughs> about um, getting started. And like Lulu is saying, you, you learn as you go. You start with what you have. You start simple. And you don't have to go to Yellowstone on your first trip. <laughs> do you you can go to a park that's near you you can sleep in your driveway you know do the things that are simple first and then that you'll gain confidence for the, from that and i've said it before and i'll say it again i have the most respect for people who take off who have anxiety mm -hmm. i have the mo those are the ones who are brave you are the brave one if you do it anyway I, I wasn't brave. People say, oh, you were so brave. No, no, I wasn't brave. I just wasn't scared. <laughs> the only thing yeah. I was afraid of was me breaking down, my body not being able to make it, you know, falling down or getting hurt or some something happening. But I've gotten healthier, not less healthy by far. I can walk better and move better. Mm -hmm. I've got a shoe review coming up. I know people don't like reviews necessarily, but in every video I put up, pretty much a review of different little gadgets and items and things that are good for van life. Um, but, you know, I uh, so any review I do will only be about something that was really good for me that might help somebody else too. It's not a matter of trying to sell something because I've gotten so, so, so many offers I, I don't even read all of them anymore. I'm just not interested. I mean, I mean, people offer money. They offer, you know, uh, what do you call it? A uh, paid uh, sponsorships. And I'm just, I don't want to come on and just do a commercial. Now, if I get desperate financially, you'll know because I'll do a sponsorship <laughs> if I'm desperate financially. Yeah. But I don't want to do that right now. 
reviews are very different to me than a net paid advertisement. You're not getting paid. You're just, you know, suggesting this is something you might like or not, whatever. You know, I don't care if they buy it or not. That's not my goal. But yeah. you will get those. So, by the way, on your about page, put a an email address. So all these people who want to sponsor you or have you do a review, um, you know, sometimes it might be something you really need. Like I did get a power station. I was in desperate need of that. And it's a big improvement. And I'm going to let people know my honest opinion of it. Um, but those are the only three things that I've done so far. And I have no interest in all these other things that are coming my way. So, um, but put your email address on your about page just to see what kind of uh, correspondence you get from different people. It's, that's a good thing to do. I, I didn't know to do that for a long time, oh, but okay. I think that's good. Um, but to take those little trips, I think is, did you do that at all? Did you take a little trip or did you yeah. just take off like I did? No, I did. I did. I had everything all set up and I was so excited and I booked a campground about 20 minutes from my house. Um, I've never, I never went to the campground. I really know. No, I, I no, that wouldn't be true if I said I never camped in my life, but close to never, maybe half a dozen times in my life. I went camping. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So I really wasn't a camper. Uh -huh. You know, I just loved this whole tiny home thing. Mm -hmm. And this just seemed like a tiny home because I, I own a home and it's a big home. <laughs> uh -huh. I just would love a little tiny home. So I thought this so I can get my little tiny home. Just yeah. put it on wheels. Right. Uh, so I did go to the I got a campground for two nights and I was in, I was in heaven. I was in heaven because I had just manifested something instead of. Like, how long was I going to sit and watch other people do it, you know? And because um, it's like, it's kind of like when I'm home, that's what I'm doing. I'm watching other people do it, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, I want to go do it, you know? And I just, I actually made it happen. Like, I just, the first step was, you know, picking up that phone from a van on Craigslist, or Facebook Marketplace, whatever, and just say, you know, is that van still for sale? Because you, I would even go and start scrolling vans, but then I wouldn't call because I'm like, oh, what if it's not? Oh, what if? What if? And and then I just one day I was just like, yeah, enough of this. And I was still working, so for the longest time that I had the van, I was just using it very sporadically, um, like just when I had vacation time. And typically, my destination when the, my first big destination was my daughter lives in Iowa. So I thought, oh, I'll take a road trip to Iowa. And I just was fascinated as I was driving through in Ohio and then um, Pennsylvania and Indiana and Illinois. And I was just like, I've never been through those states before, you know. So now subsequently I've taken, I've been there probably six trips there. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's like, that's a great destination for me because my girl's there. You know. Oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Uh, along yeah. those lines of, of, you know, who you meet along the way, um, I've met so, so, so many people along the way. And, and what I want to thank right now is Linda, who has been an administrator um, here on the live chat. Um, we've camped together a couple of times and she's an administrator on our Facebook page. And someone just now I scrolled back a little bit, um, mentioned, how do I find out about meetups? Uh, and I highly recommend a meetup, whether or not you are nervous about van life, but especially if you're nervous about van life, do find a meetup or go on a Facebook group. And I know some people don't like Facebook, but it is a central location for that. Uh, and I'm going to get to another thing right after the talk about Facebook. But um, you can search for a groups of, of, you know, of your interests, senior women um, or, you know, certain kinds of vehicles, minivan camping and so forth. But there's a new thing that I had another live on. And, and really, you should check this out too, Lulu. It's called nomadsdownthered.com. 
nomadsdowntheroad.com. And instead of having to ch- uh, chase all over Facebook and, and you'll miss some of the best groups, you know, until you hear about it a year later that you could have been joining because they're, I mean, it just how many subjects do they talk about on Facebook? Just all over the place. But if you go to Nomads Down the Road, it's focused on people who like to travel and camp. You don't have to be part time. You don't even have to be on the road yet. And I, it doesn't have the things that people dislike about Facebook. And um, Travel Grandma Elaine started this group. It's not a group. It's a website. And um, instead of groups, you know, you create your own village, which I think sounds more like us nomads. It's more down to earth. And you can promote things there. They don't mind if you go on there and promote things. There'll be classes. They're going to have a map where um, you can find, um, you know, places to uh, people who have driveways they're willing to share. And they have ways of communicating to make sure that both parties are safe and so forth. But it's just going to be full of so many different things. And I think it's going to be a big improvement on Facebook. And it's called Nomads Down the Road. Um, Very good. have and no I'll... support from family or friends oh boy and Lulu and I talked about this on her on her van tour uh, someone just commented that they don't have support from family and friends they're going to think you're crazy living in a van down by the river I don't know where that phrase came from by the way but I've heard it sometimes but um, you know, they're going to think you're crazy till they see how much fun you're having Right, Lulu? Tell them about that. What about, I mean, your family is supportive, but I, you can probably yeah, imagine just, some people who think you're a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, I guess um, I really, to tell you the truth, I really didn't really even think about what the family thought because that's really their own business. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of like, like how this affects you. Like, this isn't even about you. This is about me. <laughs> You know, and it's like, to me, it's like, it's not my work to make my family feel comfortable for me to go. It's kind of like their own work. And perhaps it, perhaps it comes about as they, like you said, they see you do it and they see that you're happy and they see that you're safe, you know, yeah. but no, I didn't have, um, one time I was, um, cause I had done a, um, um, no, never mind. Never mind. It just, it was a different Wait, story. Uh, one thing you can do for your family is on Google Maps, you can ha- allow them to follow you. And that way they'll feel like they can, you know, be part of it. They can see where you are. I mm. mean, some people might not like that, but I feel like it makes, I feel safer that my family can follow me. And that's on Google Maps. And you go up to the three little dots, which is the menu, and you touch that. There'll be a drop down, and in there it will be location sharing. And all you got to do is put in their email address and send, and they'll send a notification telling that person what to do, and then they can follow you. And uh, so that's, I think that's a safety factor, and it feels makes people feel on both sides, the traveler and the person at home, it may make them feel more comfortable. And I think another thing that makes people feel comfortable is your your confidence. Yes. You know, so like this, uh, me, somebody that's confident, and not afraid. Yeah. It's kind of like they, they feel that and they sense that. And it's just, it, then that's contagious. But yeah. if I'm like, you know, if, if I'm, if I'm, I don't know, there's just really nothing to really be afraid of. Anything more than just living in a house. I mean, you're in a locked area in your car or you're in a locked area in a house. You are out and about driving, whether you live in a, ca- a house or a car. Yeah, I don't know. Just like. What's the difference, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't see the difference. Yeah. I can't see. I can't really think of anything right offhand that could happen to you as a nomad that couldn't happen to you in the town you are in. Yeah. You know, unless you ne- unless you lock yourself in a closet with a gun in each hand, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe maybe you're safer there. But um, cars, vehicles are made to withstand crashes on the I mean, to some degree, you know, um, they're made with that idea in mind, whereas a house just sits there. You know, if somebody's trying to break in your house. How how 
how are you going to drive away? I mean, how far are you going to get driving a house? Um, you know, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. You can't escape. Um, yeah. So I kind of feel, I feel good about that, being able to choose where I am and leave when I want. And yeah. these windows right here are not that easy to break, not like plink. You know, those beautiful, I always like those beautiful doors with that sort of oval shaped, beautiful glass in it, you know, your front door. Um, I just always wondered, how, what would it take to just plink and that's gone and there you just, you know, so I don't know. And you can't drive away. <laughs> you can't drive away. Right. Uh, they don't get very, houses don't get very good gas mileage, neither do apartments. Mm. And up, upkeep to me on a house. Uh, Oh, that's just me. Everybody's got their own thing. That's mine. Yeah. I like the footloose and fancy free. Oh, I'm missing a lot of comments here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a strong-willed person as a rule, and I appreciate the vote of confidence. Yes, you've got a, a strong, strong will. I think people who are afraid still have a strong will a lot of times. They want it so bad. Um, and I have a video, actually, on... Um, uh, loneliness and fear. I don't remember the title of it exactly, but fear is most of the time, unless somebody's br actively breaking into your door right now, unless somebody already has a hold of you, then um, uh, pretty much all of your fears are what if. Well, what if somebody grabs me? What if someone breaks in the door? You know, you, things that probably will never happen, you've got fear over it. How many what ifs are there? You could sit down and just what if yourself right into a nervous breakdown. <laughs> you know, a perfectly calm, beautiful day outside. You could what if yourself into a nervous breakdown. So I don't, I don't engage in the what ifs. That's um, just not necessary. <laughs> Have you ever been nervous on the road? Who me? Yeah. I have not. No, I've that never been. I've never been in a circumstance that I was. I had to drive away. Um, you picked the right spot in the first place. Then I picked the right spots in the first place. Yeah, yeah. but even yeah. when I didn't know what I was doing, I was just like, you just, you just instinctually, you can just, you can just, you just feel it, and you're like, yeah, I'm just going to stay right here, you know, yeah. and and um, um. I love, you know, rest stops and uh, truck stops, um, hotel parking lots, uh, Planet Fitness parking lot, go in and grab a shower, you know, and, um, you know, it's just having the, the stealth van is, is right. uh, has its has its perks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it has a has a lot. And the just the. Oh, so many different things. You know, the biggest, one of the biggest questions or comments that I get on videos is, you know, you can't stand up. You can't stand up. Well, if I can reach everything from my bed, why do I need to stand up? I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to stand up and walk across, you know, this far. <laughs> so standing up's not an issue. Besides, if I need to do something inside that I want to stand up, I can reach just about everything in here through a door i can make up my bed with the door through the door stand on the on the outside make up my bed you can cook from the outside if you want to i know you've got that really neat little table in the back yeah. so there's no reason to stand up i think the worst thing as far as not being able to stand up and and i've seen people make wonderful solutions to this so it's not putting it down but for me the hardest thing would be a full-size van a conaline type thing that is not a uh, high top. You have, you've got to get to the back to get to the things in the back. And the only way is to be bent over, you know, there, but I found a one, I saw a woman that had a wonderful solution to that in a video. She had an office chair with that rolled around. And oh, so she just sat down and rolled everywhere. How yeah. smart was that? That's the solution to that. If you want to get a bigger van, that's not a high top, just sit down yeah. and push your way around. <laughs> it's it's around. Fun. <laughs> oh yeah. That's funny. Yeah. But you know, the, the only time I, you know, it, it like getting dressed and putting, putting on a pair of pants and you got to lie yeah. down, um, you know, it's, but it's just, it's, it's once a day. It's, it's like a minute. It's a minute, 
You know, yeah. like if you were doing that all day long, it would be hard. You know, that was another thing. I remember I, when I was first traveling, I would, you know, there'd be times I'd be like, this is really hard. Like, this is just really hard, you know. And, um, you know, before I had all my little things tweaked out, you know, and ironed out. And um, so this last trip I went on, I thought to myself, if I ever think this is hard, because it's 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 going to feel hard at times. I said, I'm just going to say, you know, it's not hard. It's It's just not easy. It's not hard. It's just not easy. But, you know, wherever you are, like I could get a high top and then I'd be like, all right, well, this isn't easy either. You know, yeah. or I get a, You know, I'm in my house. Is it always easy to have a house? No, it's a lot of work to have a house. So it's, yeah. you know, it's like, so it's like, it's not hard. It's just not easy. And well, it just, you know, it just there's, feels, it's just the it, thing, there's things about it that you're dirty. You, I get, you know, you're out in, if you're out in the campgrounds and stuff and you, you're dirty and you need a shower and, and then it's just like, but then after a while, you're just like, whatever. <laughs> well, you know, if you're at home and you're working in the garden and you get dirty and then you think, yes, that's you really not, yeah, that's really mean, not so that much difference. The difference is the adventure. What was hard for me was being stuck in a house. That was hard. That was very hard. Well, you, you might say, well, you're just laying there watching TV. The, how hard can that be? That's hard. To me, that's hard. I couldn't stand it. Yeah. I had to get out there. There's a world out there and I can go there. <laughs> so I, I just had to do that. Yeah. Um, and you know, all the, all the conveniences, like when I do come home, when I got home from this trip, came home from this trip, I was gone for about two and a half months, maybe three. And I had, I've never been away that long, ever. And uh, when I pulled up in my driveway, it was just like surreal because I was coming back to my house, you know. And then um, I came in and it was just like everything was so like big and like I had like running water and I had a big bed and I had like my recliner and all that. It's like and gigantic, right? Like you're in. in... <laughs> everything was like gigantic. Gulliver's and, Travels. Yeah. And then. I'm going to say for the first day, it was like, wow, and then wow, and then wow. And then like the next day, I felt this like real kind of let down. I felt a little let down. Like I felt um, like what was totally ripped away from me was the sense of adventure. And just that unknown, like yeah. that unpredictability, like you don't know who you're going to meet, what you're going to do, where you're going to park. And, right. and, and, you know you have this plan and then boom, you meet, you meet some people. And then all of a sudden you're like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm doing this instead. And then boom, yeah. I, I had it all planned. I was leaving Florida December 1st and that was my plan. And then, you know, then, then there was something to do on the fourth. And I was like, Oh, I think I'll stay around for that. Then the, that was the event that I met you at. That was on the so that was the sixth and seventh. And I was just like, oh, I'll go home another week, you know? And, um, but yeah, so like, I felt that, I felt that loss. So, I know what you mean. It's almost like, you know how people have, there's that phrase, get a life. I feel yeah. like that's what I did <laughs> with the van life was, yeah. it's get a life. What I had was not a life. It was like waiting to die. You know, and this is get a life. It's it's just it's packs a lot of life into every day to me. Yeah, I and did I, get. I, a, oh, go ahead. Go, go. No, you go ahead. I was gonna say, like, I was worried about not meeting people. I was like, how am I gonna meet people? Like, that's just gonna be the weirdest thing. Like, I'm just gonna go. Like, I'm gonna pull up in a rest stop, and like somebody next to me is gonna be like, just happen to be like my friend, you know, someday, <laughs> you know, and uh, and it's kind of like not how it happens. You know, it was like, it was these meetups and I, I suggest anybody now I go on Facebook and I go to senior women van life because I want to meet senior women doing van life. Now, I don't know that everybody on here is a senior, but you just, you can narrow it down to your, you know, senior men doing mm -hmm. van life, um, you know, moms doing van life. I don't know, like young moms, or I don't know, like teenagers or whatever. Uh, but I know there's a group for everybody. And yeah. um, I think that senior women van lovers is what it's called. I think that's the title of it. 
pretty sure. Well, he, he searched for both. It's one or the other, but I yeah. kind of think it's senior women van lovers. And, yeah, the one uh, that I'm on is life. Maybe there's one that okay. says lovers. Oh, too. there's one for everything. You know, there's yeah. so many on there. I, <laughs> I, it's funny that I have this, the one that Debbie Jean, the, the one that gave your, um, the hundred van meetup. Yeah. She had the first meetup. Her first meetup was the first one that I ever went to. And um, that was my, the third video I ever put up. Um, was at that meetup. I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> in the van life or the videos. I really didn't know <laughs> what I was doing. I, I didn't, I, I kept interrupting. I didn't know what to say. I thought I was helping, you know, well, this is a, no, no, it needs to be <laughs> you doing your van tour. That's much better. And, and people do appreciate that when you don't interrupt. Yeah. So I did, I learned a lot from that, but it's funny that video went crazy had a you know 100 and i don't know how many it is now it may be approaching 200,000 i don't know any rate um people were asking over and over i can't tell you how tired i got a hundreds and hundreds of times people said when is your next meetup like i was doing it you know when am i having a meetup again i'm traveling all over the country i don't know anything about meetups you know and they were just insistent i want to go to a meetup where when's your meetup I, you know and i just over and over and over and it's so simple and i've talked to debbie jean about this before too um People don't realize you can start a meetup on any group and just say, I'm going to be at this park. Anybody want to come over? I'll be there starting at such and such a time. That's a meetup. You yeah. don't have to have a formal one at all. Um, you know, parks, if you want to meet people, by the way, um, van life people, you know, make new friends. A park is often like the, the they've got a lovely park in Cottonwood, um, Arizona. And, um, I met, I met like four or five different, five different women there that, uh, van life, you know, we just got to talking and that's where I did, uh, the van tour of Sherry, who was in Nomad Life, uh, Nomad Land. She was in the movie Nomad Land and she's a friend of Bob Wells. And that's where I met her and did her van tour where she put in just things from the, you know, Goodwill store and things she had around the house and a very simple, no build. And, you know, very comfortable for her. Um, but um, back to where I started, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> Went off on a tangent. Um, but there was a real close relationship between that, the senior women's uh, Facebook group and my channel because uh, they were really small when I did that video and so many people saying, where, where are the meetups? Where are the meetups? And I kept sending them over there and that their uh, Facebook page grew, which made my channel grow. And it was really um, kind of side by side sort of thing. And a lot of the members from my group are also my Facebook page are also members of that one. And, um, and I've found a lot of collaboration between YouTube uh, creators too. You know, it's quite a few friends that are YouTube creators and they help each other. And I think yeah. that's just a great community. Um, they're wonderful. not like, oh, you're going to take a subscriber of mine. Well, no, yeah. we all are subscribers to so many different ones. You can name somebody, you know, and uh, like Elaine, Travel Grandma, or what's her name? Nikki Daventhal and, you know, uh, uh, Adventuring with Amanda. And at one of the meetups, half the people there, or more than half the people there are watching that too, like Chrome from uh, Van City Van Life, you know. Uh, There's a lot of collaboration. There's a real community is what I'm trying to say. There's yeah, a real yeah. community. And I think everybody can feel good about that. You know, I wanted to tell a story about the very first meetup that I have. It wasn't at a meetup. I was in, I, I had never been to Arizona. This was two years ago, this month. Uh -huh. two years ago. And I said, I'm going to Arizona. I've never been to Arizona. I had a van, but I was, it was, uh, um, I didn't want to drive to Arizona. So I flew to Arizona. I got an Airbnb for a month and I rental. And I just, I hiked the mountains every day. I just, just by myself, I had a great time, but I knew Quartzsite was two hours away. So I was on that group, Van Life Senior Women. Yeah. on Facebook. Um, and I, I said, I, I, I just made a post and I said, I'm in Arizona right now. 
I would love to see courts. I, I don't have my van with me, but is anybody like around? I'd like to just come say hi. So this woman who uh, was about 20, about 20 miles north of me, uh, she was like, oh, she goes, I have a camper van and a minivan, and I've never been to Quartzsite yet. She goes, I'd love to go there, and I'd love to go with somebody. I said, well, I'll go with you, but I don't have my van. I just have a rental car. So we met there, and we had the greatest time, and I've been talking to her. I haven't seen her well. While I was there for that month, we met one day, we spent the day at the zoo, we went, you know, we had, so we, you know, got to know each other. And we just, we always keep in touch with each other. I was just talking to her the other day. And um, so um, that, that, and I just went to Quartzsite and I just went, went where everybody goes to in the BLM land. Cause I was like, I've never, I don't even know what it looks like. I don't know anything about it. And there's all these people and they're all like showing me their bus and then they this one was doing watercolor painting outside of her van and I was just like meeting all these people but then I had to leave drove two hours back to my to my uh she's like sleep in your car sleep in your car and stay and I was like no because she was staying but I left so that was like my first kind of friend that I made and then another one was back home in Massachusetts just this past summer um I met a woman that said she was from Massachusetts on the van van life senior women senior women van life i think it's called and um um i was like oh she's like you know you want to you want to do something sometime and i said well why don't we meet and see if we see if we enjoy each other you know so we met we brought our vans and we met down on the ocean down in quincy and um it was great it was just so great and we gave each other van tours and we took out a couple of chairs right next to the ocean and we talked for like four hours. Yeah. Like we just never ran out. And then we planned it. We planned a trip and we went to up to New Hampshire. Um, we stayed at a state park and she got tickets to a Steve Miller concert. We went to the Steve Miller concert. <laughs> We're singing and having a great time. Just <laughs> the two of us. And um, yeah, I stay in touch with her. And then, this time in Florida was the first time I went to like a big gathering with people. And um, yeah, I've got a handful of besties from there too. You know, yeah. we're already planning. We're already planning, you know, in touch like every day. We talk every day, even though oh I'm up gosh. here. I'm up here. Yeah. That's and great. Um, yeah. So, you know, um, and then I remember uh, also last summer, this woman contacted me from that same Facebook group. And she said, I live in Lowell, which is probably about, 25 miles from me she goes i don't have a van yet but i'd love to see your van i said come on over and uh so yeah she came and i gave her a van tour and she was in heaven because all the van tours she sees are on the computer and she yeah. saw one live and i said I'll live, show you yeah. One yeah and I, I don't know that she even has a van today she's still dreaming but you know you can be the dreamer we'll still hang out with you yes just yeah. like i went in my in that rental car I just went in the rental car. I didn't have a camper and all I brought was a lunch. That's all I had. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, um, well, I like to encourage people that are just living vicariously, go to a park, just get out, get out there and get, watch a sunset or a sunrise, go get some fresh air. You sit on your porch. If you, if you're homebound for some physical reason, sit by a window or open the window or l look at the clouds in the sky enjoy the outdoors in other words you mm -hmm. know if you can't go you can still enjoy a lot of that it doesn't all have to be on youtube but watch my channel and watch our channel <laughs> <laughs> just enjoy the fresh air you know yep. i did get a couple of questions here um somebody asked me what mileage i get on my pacifica well if i keep it plugged in like if i'm at a campground and i don't go that far and i know i'm not on the highway or something um i can get 70 uh miles per gallon um even with it all loaded like it is uh, chrysler says it gets 82 miles a gallon um but that's if you have it plugged in all the time you don't ever 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 have to plug it in you could own it for 10 years and never plug it in that's just an extra boost on the um uh mileage uh 
if you don't plug it in, it's still a hybrid. It's just not an electric vehicle. Um, one nice thing, I think they're still doing it. If you buy a new one or maybe a, a slightly older one. Anyway, you'd have to check on this with someone who's an official and knows. But um, it's considered an EV, electric vehicle, because it plugs in. And you might be able to get a $7,500 um, tax credit, not deduction, credit like if you paid in seventy five hundred dollars that was that helped me uh make up the difference between this one and one that was not a hybrid um i did get 103 miles per gallon one time when i was still working and um because i bought it before i took off and um i didn't drive over 30 miles an hour for about a week and i um you know, plugged it in every night. I didn't go very far. So at the end of the week, it, it, it was like, it was all on electric. You know, it never did use any gas. But that's well, not happening on the road. Don't, don't expect that. I, it's going to get like um, most hybrids do, uh, like a Sienna and so forth. But the better it, even though it may mostly get a, uh, just what a Sienna does, a hybrid, um, I really like that when I plug it in in a campground, I can leave on the climate control and the never goes on gas at all. It's all electric when it's plugged in. So yeah. that's nice. Anyway, that was a tangent. <laughs> Answer any questions. Let me see if there are some others here. I saw a uh, question that somebody asked me how long okay. my bed was. And somebody asked me that yeah. in, your, in your comments on my video too. Um, right. It's just the standard length of a bed. I bought a full-size mattress and I cut it. 30 inches wide and I just kept the length, which I think a standard bed is eight, 80 inches, I think. Okay. So like about like over it's, I don't know, six feet. I don't know. It's, it's a regular, I didn't cut any length off. I kept the length. Right. All, regular all, what I wanted in my van was, so there's three ways in to the back. There's the, the hatch in the back, the two side sliders. I wanted two of them open. Like I wanted to be able to get in and out in two spots. So I have one is kind of blocked with the big power station in my Berkey. So that blocks one thing in my solar panels. But the other one, the bed comes down just enough that it stops right at my underfloor storage and I can get in and out. And um, so, yeah, I didn't cut any length off at all. That's good. Um, someone just mentioned here. Barbara Walker said that that the uh, group is Van Life with Senior Women. That sounds familiar. Oh, we were calling and it Senior it, Women in Van Life. Yeah, I don't, I don't know which it is. It's <laughs> some combination of that. <laughs> no, no, it's Barbara's a great group. Right. Barbara, Barbara's probably right. <laughs> yeah, I, I I get it mixed up for sure. It's yeah, a Van great Life group women. of women, though. It's a great, yeah, it's huge. There's thousands of people on there. Yeah. Yeah, and you just, you just, Whatever you want, whatever you need, just just post it. Just say, yep. I'm I'm in Massachusetts. And is there anybody in this area that would like to get together for a cup of coffee and just talk about van life because I that does, you know, because I'm interested in it. And you might get somebody that's just interested in it too. And then you can talk about it together, or you might find somebody with a van and then you can, you know, so. People, they're just, they're looking to socialize. That's the point of the group. Yeah. It's the and point we had another group. question um, or, or a comment from uh, Jan, L-O-V-I-G, Lovic, Lovic, I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. Um, she missed the beginning. Did you talk about how to find groups to connect to? Yeah, you know, that's always worth talking about because I think that's important, whether you're full-time, part-time, just starting, or like me, been around a while. Um uh, a tail end of the driveway sharing. I would like to participate and offer my driveway in Lake Havasu, Arizona. Oh, bless your heart, Jan. Um, go to uh, nomadsdowntheroad.com website. And it's. I think it's going to be huge. And we all need to support it because it's going to be so good for all of us. All the various things that they're going to have to offer is going to far surpass um, Facebook uh, for nomads, because Facebook is just all over the place. How do you even find the groups? There's so, so many of them, like we're trying to talk about the name. But um, Nomads Down the Road is a central location for all kinds of things for nomads. So, uh, <clears throat> but 
<clears throat> it doesn't hurt to be a member of both. It doesn't hurt to be, you know, you don't have, it's not exclusive. You can do both for sure. It's just that it's going to offer a lot of things in one place. I also have a Facebook page. Uh, it's fairly new, but I think there's probably getting close to 400 um, uh, members of that Facebook page. And it's Butterfly Tribe Women Who Camp. So if you're interested, we that's pretty much what we talk about are meetups. Um, I've had, had a meetup in November and then I had one in January. Uh, February in Florida is, can be pretty iffy weather-wise. I'm not sure. We might just do a, a, a quick, easy one, but we'll definitely talk about March um, at, a, at a bigger location than what we had before and some possible extra amenities. Uh, so we're hoping people are interested in that. Still in Florida? Yes, I am still in Florida. I I just like I said, and I really meant it in my very first video, I am not going to participate in winter <laughs> in snow and driving on snow and icy roads and trying to keep warm. No, 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 no. I am I am in Florida and I'm making little trips in Florida. I've got some little adventures I've already filmed and some that I want to still do and meetups and all kinds of things. Yes, I'm in Florida and I'm at a wonderful campsite which of course we don't tell where we are while we're still there. <laughs> and I'm in Massachusetts freezing my buns off. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody but asked where I'm from. not having to drive in it. Oh yeah. Somebody asked where I'm from in Boston. I'm from Mass. I am about 10 miles north of Boston. Uh-huh. So I'm very close to the city. Is there snow on the ground now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was out shoveling today. Uh-huh. Not for long, though. Yeah. So also oh. for any anybody that's here that wasn't here at the beginning when I announced that I have a, a YouTube channel. Yes. I don't know if, if there's anybody here that wasn't yes, here. Yes, there the are new people. Go ahead and announce that. I was, encouraged, I was encouraged by Jan um, and by a lot of her um, subscribers that in the comments that were asking what my channel was. And I decided to go for it. It's called Lulu's Way. L-U-L-U apostrophe S way W-A-Y. Just because I do everything my way. Yes, she does. And you and should that do everything way your should way. be. <laughs> and you should do everything your way. Uh, tell us just a little tiny snippet of something extra you're going to do. Something you did in your lifetime that was very special. And I think people like me really want to hear about it. Um, just a little tease on that other big thing that you did in your life. Yeah, so... Um, Anyway, uh, what what you'll see in my channel as I'm traveling in a little teeny minivan is that I never, ever, ever stray from 100% healthy, clean eating. So you'll just never see me with a piece of pizza or a sandwich. It just doesn't <laughs> happen. Um, and I get everything I need and I slice and I dice and I steam and I poach and I, 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 I always have the best clean food and I just like to eat like that. And um, I know people really enjoy watching people cook on, on YouTube in vans and stuff. I don't know if anyone's going to want to be looking at what I cook. <laughs> it's just like a well, bunch of I'll tell you and... why somebody with your energy and your physique now, um, yep. I think a lot of people want to know where does she get all that energy from and how does she stay so fit? Well, I just I just don't make exceptions. I've decided the food that I need to feel well, to be well, to look well, and then I do it 100% of the time. And that's where I do it a little bit different. And I've, and I've, I've, I come from a very large weight loss and I don't want to find it again. So it's lost not to be found. Well, you and don't it, have to, but are you willing to share that weight loss with them? Yeah. Just it a was, tiny bit? Yep. Yeah, uh, when I lost, um, my, from my highest weight, I'm about 110 down. Cool. Down 110. Yeah. Wow. How long have you kept it off? Uh, it's been off. Uh, I've been at this, which I consider an ideal weight for my, for my height and my age and my build. Um, I feel very, very comfortable at 133 pounds. That's my perfect weight. 
And I do what I need to do to maintain that. And it's been about almost nine years. Wow. Yeah. I, that's what I, I was her first subscriber. And um, I think she's hinted that she may give little tiny tidbits at the end, like I used to do with van life tips. She's going to give some um, uh, health tips. I want to be energetic like her. I want to be like her. <laughs> and a lot of people said that. A lot of people really um, commented on your energy. And I think it has a, probably a lot to do, especially after 110 pound weight loss, has got to be with your style of eating. I will never be as disciplined as you, but I want to try that as a goal. <laughs> I want to see what you're doing. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, I just, I, I truly 100% don't make exceptions. Um, what I've done basically is I've separated food from fun. Here's food. Here's fun. Here's mm -hmm. food. Here's socializing. Here's food. Here's recreation. They don't mm -hmm. go together. They don't go together for me. That's wonderful. I really yeah. love that philosophy. I gotta, I gotta write that down. I want to put it up here on my visor. <laughs> Let's see it all the time. <laughs> it's just so, like it's just that there's so much fun to be had, and it, you don't need a cocktail. You don't need an ice cream cone. You just don't. And I just had a. I just don't want it anymore. I don't want to put anything in my body that's going to work against against me. You know, I think that first bite of that thing, whatever it is that you're not supposed to have, that first bite can lead to like an alcoholic with that first drink. Yeah. You know, exactly. I, to me, it would be. It'd be just it's like the same that. Same thing, only different. Same thing, only different. Uh -huh. yep. <laughs> but it's yeah. true because like sugar, they, some people say it's like cocaine, you know. Right. I so. believe it. But so you have to be, I think that for me, now, in my experience, with over a year, Full time on the road. To do that, I would have to be prepared, and I know that's a big part of what you do, because you're tired. You drove a little longer today. You know, um, you you're you're tired, <laughs> and then well, comes this feel? drive through up there, and I don't want to no. get out and cook. Oh, whoa, it's me. <laughs> If Poor you fail me. to plan, I'm going to reward myself for this tough day of driving. I'm <laughs> going to go through. Oh, look at that beautiful sign up there. You have to be prepared uh, yeah. to have things you can grab, don't you? Yeah. If you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. It, it really applies in this case. You just sure. you have to plan. Yep. So just the same way I just, I would make sure I had toothpaste for the next morning to brush my teeth. Like you just not going to run out like you're going to yeah. be prepared. like this the things that are important to you you prepare for you know and yeah. um so i just you know i can i was on a trip and i was like okay i need i need to cook some protein and because i'm gonna have be having lunch uh lunch later and um so i was like all right you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull over i just happened to find I was in a Planet Fitness parking lot. Not that I was in Planet Fitness, but I was in a Planet Fitness parking lot. I opened my side door, got my stove out, <laughs> and I just yeah. I was cooking in Planet Fitness parking lot. Yeah. Right. So like, you know, and then it was all cooked. And then I put it all away in a Tupperware container. And then I did my dishes. And then I got in the car and off I went. Sometimes I need to stop at um, a rest stop because I need to put my solar panels out for a few hours because I need to top things up. So I got three hours. What do I do? I steam a big pile of broccoli. I start slicing and dicing carrots and onions and, and cucumbers and, and cooking this and steaming some sweet potatoes. And I just, and then I have like all these containers all, all ready, everything prepared. And I'm not even going to eat. I'm just preparing as yeah. I'm, as I'm making electricity, you know? And uh, it's just, just taking good care of myself. That's all. Yeah. Boy, is it worth it too? Yeah. yeah I, I know what it, I have lost, um, not that much at a time, but very large, uh, to me, large amounts uh, several times in my life. You well, know? I've lost it all several yeah, times. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, done it, I've done it several times. Um, a lot of times I did it with exercise. I mean, you really exercising and, cutting back on carbs but you know i can't do keto 
Um, it just doesn't, my body doesn't like it. Um, but um, I'm, I'm willing to do just about anything. I say that, but I need the kind of commitment you have. And that's why I want to have already subscribed to your channels because I want to, I want to. Yeah, I think you kind of hear have it actually, more. I think people, you kind of need to see it. Like you can hear yeah. it and you can just say that doesn't even seem like real life. You know, yeah. like, how do you do that? Like, so you don't ever have birthday cake at your birthday? No, I don't. Wow, that's birthday impressive. Cake. Oh, yeah. just one bite. Right. Just one bite. I made it with love for you. It's but just what, one bite, right? Do you hear that? Got, yeah, but yeah, but what did you just say about the first bite? You said it's like yes, exactly. You know? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to spark that up. I'm good. Yeah, it'll do it too. It it to me, it's extreme on me. I don't know about other people, but um, if I have something that I'm craving or tempted to have, that means that that one thing, whatever I'm craving, is probably going to trigger me just wanting more and wanting more it's not gonna be one bite forget it it's not gonna happen no <laughs> just don't take happens. that first bite just don't do yeah, it, how, don't do do it. I, how do you think i put all that weight on you know that's what happens yeah just that one no. bite right it's like an, <laughs> you know just eat everything is about food socializing yeah. about food happy mad sad glad eat <laughs> you know what i mean it's just like it's not even it, it doesn't even matter what's going on it's just like too much eating so yeah so i'm just all set i'm all done i'm all done that's good now, we have some people discussing taking cats with them. I know you don't, you have a cat, so we'll talk about that in a second. But um, I have done, um, I don't think there was more than, well, one in particular, Cindy, fear versus freedom. If you have cats and you want to know um, some details about someone who's full time and has three cats in her van, and believe me, I spent an hour with her and um, I would never have known there was one cat in there. So, um, she has some very clever solutions in a no build where she eat, took things that she had or got at a thrift store. And she has three cats in there that are very comfortable and happy, but she has a lot of good suggestions and it's fear versus freedom. And she has three cats she travels with. So I, I would suggest that you go that, uh, watch that one or, um, also, you know, van life with cats. I'm sure you can find some of those too. Now, Lulu, you have a cat. I have have a you cat. ever taken it with you? No, I have not taken her with me. Um, I don't know where I put a litter box. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but my son, um, I mean, he, he loves her as much as I do. So he's like, I'll take care of him, mom, you know? That's so, easy. yeah. So they're just, they're like this, you know, so she's fine. Yeah. She's 16. She's 16. Well, yeah. she's, she's almost 16. We're going to have a sweet 16 birthday party for her. <laughs> we'll like what kind of cat is it? Surprise. Don't tell her. Yeah. She's a tux <laughs> it's a She's a tuxedo kitty. Oh yeah. Yeah. The black and white. Yeah. And uh, her name is India. She's lovely. Yeah. Um, someone is asked, uh, Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia Torres. Um, Lulu, are you plant-based? Interesting that you asked that. So I was vegetarian for 22 years. Um, I was a fat vegetarian, just so you know. Vegetarian <laughs> and vegan is not, does not mean thin. Trust no. me. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, trust me. Um, but I did go back to eating fish and chicken and eggs, uh, about maybe six months ago but it had been 22 years. Wow. Yeah. It's kind of a long story, but it was a kind of a protein uh, deficiency issue. Um, it's kind of a long story. But she will tell you, stay tuned to her channel and she will tell you that's the whole idea. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of a, a, a little tease here. Oh my goodness. Connie Max. Oh my goodness. Connie Max just put up a $20 um, super chat. I, I need to do like um, Allison does on travel snacks and get a little um, noisemaker thing. She pushes a button and, <laughs> and a noisemaker. Thank you, Connie Max. Uh, Lamingo Steppen says, Lulu, that's wonderful. I'm, I'm a little behind. She's probably talking about your weight loss, of course. Um, <laughs> Uh, and several people asking the same question about plant-based. 
stay tuned to her channel to find out more yeah. details. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, 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 I've tried everything, and you know, cutting down, having just one, just doesn't work for me. So this no, is I know, I know that's me too. So I, I need to um, have a playlist of yours and just put it on and keep it rolling. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'm just gonna really, I just. You know, I don't have anything big to teach, but I it's just really by example. And yes. I think if you just watch and you just watch what I do and whether you're in a van or you're home in your kitchen, but it's like if you're home in a big kitchen and you can't do what I do when I'm living in a car. Yeah. <laughs> like, no excuses like, now. No excuses, because if you can do this when you live in a car, you can certainly do it at home. It's easy breezy at home. You know. Well, I don't know about everybody else, but for me, this is going to be better than reading a book or watching just one short video from somebody on how to do a different lifestyle. Really, um, you know, getting, you know, weekly updates or just being influenced by someone who really did yeah. do it is yeah. is going to be a big help for me. And I think probably for a lot of other people. Nuts yeah, and seeds. Yeah. How about nuts and seeds, a mainstay for van lifers? What yep. do you do? You, uh, I, eat, I, I eat nuts and seeds. Yep. Yeah. I have, I, I try to keep a snack candy so I can avoid those beautiful signs going by about, you know, whatever <laughs> the drive, whatever that drive through is to avoid it. <laughs> oh, and I always made myself better, feel better by buying something for my dogs too you know if i get a hamburger i ask for a, a hamburger patty for the dogs that's how i made my fellow self well the dogs are hungry i gotta stop oh. it. <laughs> oh the thing is to have something prepared for them too right <laughs> oh yes kenneth bailey said healthy is delicious and i'll bet you you've got some delicious recipes yeah. to and have lasted you, so long nothing is, nothing is more delicious than just feeling good about yourself mm -hmm. and feeling good in your outfit and feeling and getting in and out of a car very easy and and just bending feeling over, good. getting getting over, feeling getting back good. up again after you bend over. You know what I mean? It's just like yeah. nothing's more delicious than just feeling great. You yeah, know? and I'm not That's giving it. that. Up. I think it's Weight Watchers. Nothing tasted as good as thin feels or something like that i think it might be weight watchers i don't know but yeah. <laughs> sounds right to me i've been thin and i've been fat thin is better <laughs> it feels but better yeah, you for know, sure. and it's like yeah you know definitely being thin is uh is definitely better and it feels very good and very comfortable but just mm. feeling good like every day i feel just really bright i just feel very bright you yes. know i don't have any I don't have any food hangovers. I don't have any brain fog. It's not like I'm trying, my body's trying to figure out what to do all this, all this friggin' sugar and, and bags of potato chips and stuff. It's like, it, my body doesn't, it's just, it gets fuel now. Yeah. I, 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 I treat my car. <laughs> very good point. You don't want to put sugar in that tank. <laughs> I know I used to be so much better at well, it's an all it's an attitude thing. It really is. It's it's a mindset. I, more than an attitude, it's a mindset. Uh and I used to be so much better at um, you know, avoiding things <laughs> that I shouldn't have. And it's it's just it's it seemed like sometimes like a switch turned on there wasn't anything that i could really point at and all of a sudden weight just like fell off i mean i was eating right and everything it was a mindset it wasn't really as an internal switch it was right there's the switch and um i think that's that's going to be um good to have a healthy influence like you mm -hmm. to um you know somebody that's really doing it you know Yep. I think that's I just everybody's hope, I just hope that, that. I hope that I can inspire somebody to, you know, to I, I hope that I can just show people like you can just you can just do this. Like we don't need to overcomplicate it. You can just see it's like it's um it, it's it's doable. It's very doable. Right. I mean, I've been doing it for nine years, so it's doable. And you yeah. know, 
And I have, oh, I, I can't have, wait to see I have more. A history. I have a history. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, I know. you aren't just talking about it. You're proof that it's uh, doable. It's doable. And in a van. In a van, in a minivan. Yeah. I can't even stand up, but I'll be, I'll be back there slicing and dicing and putting together a, the most beautiful salad <laughs> and getting everything I need, making sure I have a, everything well balanced and fresh and organic and uh, I'm motivated already. <laughs> well, thank you. C, C Smooth Skater. Now that sounds like good exercise. Thank you, C Smooth <laughs> Skater, for the $5 super chat. She says it all adds up. Thank you for this live chat, beautiful ladies. Women empowerment. Yeah. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah. And and why did we, I don't know about you. Well, I had moments of empowerment through my life. <laughs> moments where I, you know, came out of my cocoon and became a butterfly. And then I often went back into the cocoon. And now um, the only thing that I have, which is a semblance of a cocoon, is my Pacifica. And every day when that door slides open, I can just spread my wings. So <laughs> it's go. not a debilitating cocoon anymore. It's something I can exit every day. I have sat here, especially in my new arrangement, which is coming, I don't know, next week. Hopefully by the end of this month, um, in my new arrangement in here, I can just look around and just, I just smile, you know, it just, it just feels so good to have things like you want. Not that I won't change them someday, but it feels good to have things like you like them. And I know you said you've made a couple of changes since, um, since your video or you, or there were just things that you didn't show. Uh, no, 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 no. I built, I told you, built a little table and, um, I just, Yesterday, I just repainted the whole floor because it was all scuffed up. Every mm -hmm. time I go on a trip, I put a new coat of paint on the floor because <laughs> <laughs> it's all different colors, you know, and um, and it's just I like to spiff it up before I go. But, you yeah. know, between the sand and the dirt and the in and out and and it just it's it's living. I, you can when I get back from a trip, it looks lived in. You know? Yeah. Oh, I know. I it it, all, it, it takes two up. seconds for it to look lived in. Two seconds, you know. Well, not even messy. The things get gets everything's getting banged up, and and I get yeah. a touch up paint, and but it's like I just look at it and say that I, somebody <laughs> lived in that, like really lived hard on that, you know. Yeah. And it's just it's great. I love it. It's it's reality. Um, Sylvia said to repeat your um, channel name again. Several people have said that they have already subscribed. You might go. Oh, back to wonderful. your channel tonight and see some new subscribers they'll be waiting yeah. for that next video <laughs> so say go. it again yeah it's lulu's way l-u-l-u apostrophe s way w-a-y yeah yeah i think you it's you know and for any of you who might be interested in starting a channel they recommend um one video a week that you upload of any kind. I guess it could be a live instead of a recorded video. Um, and I would say that should be a minimum, although I didn't, I think there was one month where I only put three videos up and it still kind of grew. But uh, the more you put up, the better. Um, you know, um, I don't know, it just, everybody's channel is just going to be different. You don't have to try to copy anybody else, but um, just be yourself, you know, and, and Lulu, I know you won't have any problem with that. You are, you, you're, you're energetic and fun to watch. Yeah. Well, my first, I, I put my first video up and it's, it's a little cringy for me to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I know but it's I, new to you. I know the yeah, feeling. Yes. Yeah, it's a little cringy. I mean, I, I do really well talking with people. Like I never run out, like you can't really shut me up. Right. But <laughs> I was in front of the camera going like, um, what do I say? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that, that's the nice thing about editing. That's why you can appreciate editing. You make sound yeah. yourself sound better. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I just, you know, I'm, I'll just get better at it. That's just what happens. You, you start when you start this lifestyle it's kind of feels odd and funny and you do things wrong and then you just, 
you go you along. And all, all, yeah. Then all of a sudden it's like, I can't believe I didn't think I was going to meet people. And I didn't yeah. th- I can't believe like I just thought this was, you know, I could I couldn't be in here more than like two weeks tops. You know, I just was like, you know, I'm just going because like I say, you got the key. Just turn the key and go. I figure if I'm there, if I'm there and I'm away and I'm my plan is to go on a three month trip. And after two months, I think. Yeah, you know, I think I'm I think I'm all set. I think I'm gonna head back. Just head back. Yeah, just head back. you can do whatever you want. Turn left, yeah, turn you can right. Just do whatever you want, you know. Connie so. Max also made another suggestion, and this is true. We kind of talked about this too. Um, if you want to monetize at some point, you should target 10 to 15 minutes. I would say eight minutes is the minimum because um well, you'd still get some monetization for it don't go overboard though a 30 minute video should be rare you know there would have to be some real good special reason for having a 30 minute video because people will just drop off you know um youtube other than the people who are on this channel at the moment (laughs) and all of my subscribers um other than those special people um youtube viewers are fickle I mean, we all are actually, you know, I, I start watching something and then I'll click right off because there's so many others to look at. So um, if you're going to start a YouTube channel and I didn't always do this, um, but try to start with a bang and then end with a bang and have something interesting in the middle. It's like storytelling. But yeah, uh, target 10, 10 minutes or so, uh, not less than eight and and try to stay away from 20. Well, I made I I I created a lot of footage, but I had my son cut out everything that was, you know, well, what what I told him to cut out, and it ended up at the end of it, it was like three and a half minutes. That's all I had left. Oh, that was any good, and so <laughs> so that's what that's how long my video is. But well, I you know, when, that's long that enough was, for somebody that they nobody even knows me. So it's that's it enough. An introductory one, just an introductory. Yeah, yeah I have a <laughs> um, I have a, a a trailer from from my channel. It's just um, it shows pretty much just well. It starts out. You probably have heard. I don't know where it came from, but just when she thought the world had ended. She became a butterfly. And I would say, you know, here I am. Uh, it's, it was 70. Well, it was long before that. That, I, that Everything in my life added up to me being right here. I, should do, I could do an hour-long documentary on how I ended up here. Everything in my life, every experience I ever had, in, was just perfect for me to be in doing what I am right now. So, um, you know, everybody's got a different story. Just be yourself. And I know you will not have a problem with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> YouTube shorts also now pay. Very true. Um, that might be something that you could do, too. I haven't even done a YouTube short, I don't think. Um, uh, I've been watching some videos on doing YouTube shorts. And they say that you can go back and take like a little clip out of a video you know like a like a punchline kind of thing well you could take i could go back and take that thing you were talking about the you know what and it cut off with that didn't go well (laughs) no i wouldn't do that but i mean that's an example anyway if it was me that had said that i might (laughs) but i mean you know you can take a snippet is my point out of an of another video that you did but when you're trying to make it longer, you are you won't have any trouble making longer videos once you are on the road, you know, and yeah. uh, showing what you're doing and, and right. then your health tips at the end and so forth. You won't have any trouble making it longer. Mm-hmm. YouTube shorts pay. Yeah. Uh, I've seen, someone said that uh, Ma Terry has been doing tons of shorts lately. Um, yeah, I I'd, I'd like to try that some. It just it doesn't feel very natural to me to do a short. Seems like it has to have a punchline, you know, and I don't know. I I have to study shorts some more. I don't know. I watch them quite a bit. Um, but I don't know how that applies to my channel. Anyway, something I'll work on. No punchline needed. Oh well, okay. 
but some has to be interesting there. And a lot of mine are just kind of long form. I don't know how I put them together. I'll work on it anyway. Um, Connie Max, um, do you do shorts, Connie Max? Do you do short videos? You might configure your driving day. Oh, you mean planning driving? Um, or how you might use some of the tools you use? Oh, you work full time. Okay, you don't, you're not doing. Do you have a YouTube channel, Connie? Uh, Carolyn's RV shorts were a good idea. That's a good idea. Carolyn's RV, I've watched her since like her day one. Uh, quick tips. Yeah, you know, I thought about going back and, and downloading a lot of my videos and then just taking out all the tips at the very end and just making shorts out of those. I guess I could do that. Even all those, those videos that you have, like everybody showing the gadgets. Yeah. A gadget Separate for those. Each, each, each short. Yeah, you could use yeah. those. Right. Um, I missed one up here. Um, I can't find it. Um, oh, well. Well, guys, we've been on here an awfully long time. I could sit here and talk all night as long as you guys are talking and enjoying. I mean, it's a chat, right? It's not. A, uh, so as long as you guys are chatting, quick tips, yes. Yes, and the gadgets. Yes, that's good. I I, I think sometime I will. You know, I don't. I can't believe how busy I have been. Um, you know, since the channel has grown so much and thank you, everybody, since the channel has grown so much at first, I was, um, answering every single comment. I mean, uh, with something and now a lot of times I can only give it a thumbs up and a heart, you know, I still do answer some as often as I can, but my gosh, I wouldn't have time to edit or upload or video anything if I spent as much time as I used to and I miss that. I really I really kind of miss that, but I guess that's where you try to get, right? To where you uh don't have time for that. Uh Kenneth, you Kenneth, you I rem I haven't had a chat with you for a long time, but Kenneth was a dancer. I think I saw somebody mention that there. Was it what kind of dancing was it, Kenneth? I think it was uh is it ballroom dancing or disco dancing? Something like that. <laughs> Those were the days. Uh, someone else responded, you grow your super base over 20,000 and then beyond. Oh, ha oh, I see. Have somebody else answer the comments? I don't know. I really personalize them. Um, you know, and some of the ones that are, are not the nicest, I kind of want to say, are you okay? Can I help you? <laughs> you know, I my first reaction that uh, the very few, and I swear to you, there have been so very, very few negative comments, and all the I don't know how many thousand comments there have been. There's so few negative, and when I do see one, it's like um, you're really having a bad day. Can I help you in some way? I mean. So you, even you, Lulu, someday might get just one person who's, I don't know, had too much to smoke or drink or something that doesn't come out nice. And I guess there's some people that just no, aren't. No, I've, I've, heard some, I've heard some negative comments, a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one, they, one other van tour I did, and um, I talked about, I talked about the, um, the weight loss journey a little teeny bit. Uh -huh. And um, somebody said in the comments, she still looks fat to me. <laughs> what are you? There's, there's not a, I was like, oh, okay. there's not an ounce on you. I don't know what he's looking okay. at. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm See, still fat. <laughs> there are poor people. This, I feel bad to, for someone that is that unhappy. <laughs> you know, I mean, what a bad day would they be having to uh, have anything bad to say about you, especially 
you were fat. That's that's hilarious. I can't see all of her now, but she's skinny. She's very healthy, healthy, thin, healthy, healthy. But hey, you know uh, I want to say really quick, really quickly yeah. before we go, um, uh-huh. we talking about dancing here. We got everybody's talking about dancing here. Just a little, little. I'm not going to give it away, but <laughs> dancing is a part of my channel. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I'm going to give it away. No, I won't. <laughs> There's a dance piece. Oh, it's going to be, it's, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm not doing the belly dancing yet. <laughs> Once I watch your channel more and get that, that energy and the uh, shape back where it should be, then maybe, maybe then. <laughs> Uh, I, I like to do that at meetups. We didn't do that at the last meetup. We'll have to do belly dancing for sure at the next meetup. For sure. Someone just said, who was it? Oh, um, Joanne Fuller just said, I prefer the long chats. I am not sure why, but I don't watch the shorts. I did, but then about the time I'm into it, it's done. <laughs> and I suppose the tips uh, would be different. Oh, Kenneth, you didn't do belly dancing? I've seen some really good male belly dancers. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean about the longer <laughs> chat. We get to talk and get to sit and really just talk in a longer <laughs> chat. I agree. Yeah. Ma, Terry, and her dog, Lucy, I've been trying to build her channel. <laughs> She's funky and fun to watch. Yes, she is. Um, it's awesome you've made a connection with your audience, and that's key. I do feel like I know them. And when I'm talking on the, you know, when I'm filming myself and right now, I feel like I know each and every one of you. Um, I don't care if you're here for the first time. I feel like we're in the same room. I don't know that maybe that's crazy, but um, I, I'm not afraid of the camera. Um, Cause I know on the other end, there's somebody looking back at me as I'm looking at you. Right. <laughs> Oh, and I think I mentioned this to you, Lulu. Um, I used to do some public speaking, and maybe that helped. It didn't at first help with a camera in my face, no. But I did used to do a little bit of public speaking. And people would tell you, uh, imagine the audience naked. Ah, I'm running. <laughs> it's not going to make me more confident. I am out of there. I am running. How's that make you more confident? Why do people do that? No, what I did, I imagined the audience as little children, because all of us are just a facade of adult over a child all of us and i think that well that's one thing that i my lifestyle brings out the child in me for sure but as i was public speaking i you know getting up in front of a thousand people sometimes um i imagine them all on tricycles with a great big lollipop and that <laughs> did it for me <laughs> i wasn't afraid of those little kids uh if you consider the amount of people who will be seeking out connections with like-minded individuals versus watching negative television and advertising, the future is good for content creators. I think that's probably true. I know I stopped watching regular television probably a year before I um, went full-time, when I sold my home and went full-time. Um I, I was watching YouTube because I felt more in control. Um, I'm not just waiting for them to throw things at me. I'm choosing what I'm watching, you know, um, and it's shorter most of the time. And you can control the ads a little bit. <laughs> you can skip some of them, you know, and you know they're gonna not going to be like, you know, uh, not just not as long. Even the ads that you do get on, on YouTube are not as long. Yes, Sylvia. Um, you say Sylvia says uh, that's because we're all in the same mindset of enjoying life and the freedom of life. Are you okay? <laughs> you <fell over. laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, um, I'm sorry. Uh, no, that's I just, okay. I was just plugging in my uh, my charger. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I've got mine plugged in for sure. Um, yeah, that's we. I've talked to women at meetup several times about um, why we feel like instant family, you know, even mm -hmm. if they, you know, whether it's um, couples or just women, um, doesn't matter. You, 
you you meet so it's I don't know what it is. It there's something at the core of all of us when we're out in nature. And I don't know, I haven't really figured it out to be able to explain it good. But um, all of us who are out there are there for the same reason, really, to enjoy it and see beautiful things and live life to the fullest. So I think that's the common denominator that makes us uh, feel at home with people when we're out in the open. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet, Kenneth. I'm not even going to repeat that. That's too nice. <laughs> Choosing what you're allowing yourself to pay for YouTube Premium now because I get to decide what I'm allowing in my home. Yeah, YouTube Premium is good, and and creators still do make money from uh, YouTube Premium. Us on the just a little bit, but we do. Um, the feeling of closeness. Yeah, you're out in the open and you're feeling close. I don't know why that is, but it does seem to work that way. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, I do want to let uh, you know I did put links on lulu's video i had so many people saying you know where'd you get this and where'd you get that and so on i never did find that refrigerator though so i i bought an apicool um the same size as yours so i put a link to that did you ever find a link to that same refrigerator that you bought lulu well that the refrigerator that i got i on amazon it's not on amazon anymore but i yeah. did find it I did find the exact same one on another link. And every time I would post that link to tell the answer the question to your people, it it would delete it. Oh, well, maybe YouTube has a thing, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. know. I, I don't know. Every time I, every time I would, then I said, I won't even, I won't even put the link in. I'll just make it. Yeah. Deleted. Oh. And so I told a couple of people on your, your channel, I said, just so you know, I'm, I'm trying to answer you. I'm trying to answer you. And it keeps deleting it, you know? And then I ended up having to do it in pieces. Like I put like the brand was DOC. So I wrote DOC. Then I wrote nine liter. And then I said the, the website without the dot com, because I even wrote the word dot and then com deleted and it. still... It was just, I it would disappear. Wait, that, well, that's something that maybe others don't know, and maybe you'll, you'll learn this too, is that let's say someone makes a comment and then someone comments on that comment. Well, I get a notification when someone makes a comment. Um, and then to the next, like if someone comments on yours, I won't necessarily get it. And someone comments like you, if you have 10 answers to the first comment you only see the first one not the ones below it so when you're answering people i don't see that ah uh, you see i i get no notices on the first one but not the ones below uh, okay <laughs> there's some more subscriptions to your channel i can't wait to see how many subscriptions oh, you get. thank you <laughs> Um, let's see. Never get a kitty. I shall call her Lulu. If I ever get a kitty, I shall call her Lulu. <laughs> and she must have a tux. That's sweet. <laughs> that's, that's Kenneth. Uh, my full time job is in tech, so I find it very comfy. Well, see, there you go. When you start your channel, Connie, you'll have. All that tech support or tech knowledge behind you. Yes, I rang the bell too on Lulu's channel. I just had someone say that um, they they rang the notification bell, but they're not getting notification of my videos that go up. And they're upset with YouTube about that. And that really is... I don't, I don't understand that because I know the videos are getting out there because it's getting so many views and yet some people aren't getting it and they're not got notifications on. I don't, I don't get that. But anyway, the mysteries of the algorithm. See, <laughs> uh, see uh, smooth skater said i have five years of pictures and videos from my rv life but never started channel well see you got it all together there 
You just need to, I don't know if you have any video editing experience, but you've got content already. That's nice. And I think you have some content already too, don't you, Lulu? Some life life things, not necessarily van life that you were telling about that you've already got some content? Oh, no, it was from my last road trip. Oh, yeah, good. No, uh, yeah, this this, pa- this past road trip, the one that I met you at, uh, right? I left my house in the end of September. I got home middle of December. And I, I, all I, the kids were like, you know, mom, send us pictures and stuff. So I, so I, I, I set up a, um, a group chat on WhatsApp with the kids. And so anytime I took a picture, I had a story to tell and I would do a video. And so I would just post it there. So I did this for like three months. There's like, there must be like 200 there. (laughs) Oh, you got content already. Yeah, I said I can see. just do. I can do like I can go back and do this trip, but like this, I'm I'm like telling them stories, and I'm like, you gotta hear what just happened. Oh my god, you know. <laughs> and I was telling them all about like the meetups I was at and everything because I didn't have the channel. I was just I was there, but I was taking uh, taking videos, you know, to send to the kids. <laughs> uh, Connie's asking, uh, do you get Google Analytics that tell you cross how cross channels send subscribers to you um will lulu know from google analytics that butterfly tracks channel sent subscribers to her no it's pretty much only when you mention it i know um i don't remember what point i was at i was at a break point of subscribers and i was watching a live on travel snacks or travel um Oh, dear, don't get that wrong. <laughs> Allison, <laughs> travel snacks. Yeah, as her subscribers, she calls snack pack. But Allison on travel snacks kind of gave a shout out. I guess she had seen some videos. And also um, Carol on Glorious Life on Wheels also gave me a shout out on her live. And I noticed a bump in in subscribers from from being on that YouTube live. Uh, but no, the algorithms don't tell you. You do get a notification if there's a mention, like if someone um, mentions me or puts a link to a video of mine, uh, then the YouTube Studio app, um, which is where you find your all your different reports, um, they they there's a section of mentions, and you'll see links to whoever put links to you so yeah you get a notification of it but not on subscribers no just mentions there is so much information in that um when you go to analytics when you go to your page there's this little thing that looks kind of like a tiny little icon it represents a graph and when you click on that it's got your analytics on there and and that's an easy place to find your um comments to look up comments um, so you'll, you'll want to probably download the studio app also, uh, but watch videos on how to do YouTube. There's everything. And any of you out there that haven't started one yet, uh, you don't have to make it a career, you know, just do it for fun. Just share with your family, make it completely private if you want to. Um, and it's free, you know, that's just amazing place to store your stuff, all your digital images and so on. Um, But there are lots and lots of videos on how to do YouTube, everything from how to start it to filming to editing uh, and many, many variations of each that go really deep into uh, better editing, you know, color grading and pan and zoom and little tips and tricks. and, and, uh, And then there are quite a lot of them on marketing, you know, recommending the size of the video and the just things that you should do to build the community. So there's, there's a lot of help out there. Um, don't overcomplicate it though. Just be yourself. That's uh, my best advice really. Uh, but do, do research some because you could be missing some things if you don't do a little bit of research. It's kind of fun. Uh, depends on what you click on after you hit the bell. Um, hmm. That's right. Um, I, as far as notifications, if you click notifications, the bell, there's kind of a drop down and um, you, the top one, I think it was, because I just did it on Lulu's notifications to all of them. Um, 
I'm wondering where Lulu got the cooling blocks that she put in her little fridge. Oh, yeah, the blue ice. Amazon. And yeah. they come in all different sizes. So you really need to have the refrigerator that you're going to use. Get the measurements inside and be sure that they're going to fit and how many you can fit. So I can fit six, but if they were standing up straight, I could put a seventh one in, but my my cover would, wouldn't click shut. It shuts, but it doesn't click. So I have to put in six and then I just tip them ever so slightly. I need that space to just give them a little teeny, teeny tip and then the cover shuts. Yeah. So point. you really want to make sure, like you want to measure what's going to fit and then um, make sure you, your covers, you know, I, I put them in like this, or you can stack them like this either way, right. you know, but I can't get that sixth one in this way, but this way uh -huh. I can only cause I tip it. I just got to tip it like about a half an inch. That's all it needs. And then the cover clicks. Isn't that, that's an amazing example of a tweak, you know, makes all the difference, right? It makes all the difference. That tiny little thing. That's good to know. Um, Lulu. Fact, I, thought I, could only, I thought I could only. Yeah. Even though I bought 12, I said it's going to be five. And I out because I was stacking them this way. Six in this way. It would get that big thing out. The yeah. Little tip. A little tweak. A little tweak. Yeah. Hello, Richard Polly. It has been a long time since I've seen you on a chat. I haven't had a lot of chats necessarily. Uh, oh, C um, Smooth Skater. I have trouble with that word. C Smooth Skater. She went to school for multimedia. Well, C, that means that you, you got a head start. Dora Jackson says, Lulu, I love your personality. I think that was a consensus of almost every person who watched her video. Oh, thank you. Cooling blocks, where to buy them? I think we already did that one. A couple of my favorites, how your YouTube channels are Think Media and MacMost. Well, I know Think Media. I haven't seen MacMost yet. There are a lot of good ones. You'll just find one that you kind of like probably and, and stay with that one more. Some of them I like better than others. Be yourself. Great. That's a good example. Be yourself is good for life, <laughs> but definitely for YouTube. Oh, Kenneth Bailey says, I don't know who is with me, but I never want this conversation to end. How sweet. <laughs> yeah, your sound was out for a minute. Say hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah, that's better. You you have a little more echo than you had before, but I can still hear you. Yeah, oh. for a minute you were kind of faded out or something, but it's better now. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, I I told Lulu that I really, my cell phone that I'm talking on right now is, other than, oh, well, I have to say I'm using the um, windshield mount is where my camera is right now. Those two th items are all I use. That's it. I don't know. I've got, I bought tripods and um, I don't know, some other little things that could be helpful. And I, I, I bought a gimbal and I've never even really tried to play with it. I don't, I don't know. The phone's just so easy. It's just so mm -hmm. uncomplicated and I've done everything I've done on, on just the phone and that little windshield mount and my computer and my Pinnacle Studio of uh, 2021 20, Ultimate. That's what it is. Pinnacle Studio. The website for my um, editing software is Pinnacle SYS. Pinnacle, like short for systems, Pinnacle SYS.com. If anybody's interested, it's far more user friendly than the much more expensive programs, just far more user-friendly. They've got some really good tutorials on their site also on details of um, making your videos very professional. So shout out to them, not sponsored. <laughs> Have you used iMovie? No, I've never used anything but Pinnacle. Yeah, I love Pinnacle Studio. I'm, I'm so, I can, I'm so fast with that. You know, you got your layers and I know where everything is. Uh, um, I used to have a, a, vid, a um, photo editing uh, 
It was Microsoft Digital Image Pro that I could just zoom around in. I knew where everything was. And then they quit making it. <laughs> sad, sad day. I just mm -hmm. could do magic with that thing. And I've looked at others and it's just like, uh, it's just hardly, I think you mentioned something like that, learning something new. And to have to completely start over after I was so good at it, you know, and then completely yeah. start over. Mm -mm. I always say I don't have any more room in my brain. It's, yeah. It's all full. I'm going well, to have actually to stop. do it. I'm it's like you know what it's like. You no, know, it's like it's like those little ice packs. It's just that tweak. Make more room. <laughs> just got a, a little tweak. There's more room in your brain. You just gotta, you gotta adjust. I can it. Yeah. <laughs> I've always thought of my poor brain having ADD. I've always thought of my poor brain as you know I have a photographic memory in some in many cases. But I just keep losing the pictures. <laughs> I don't have a good filing system for all of them. I can remember some things in school like I would memorize. And, and I could even remember that part of it was here. And then I had to turn the page. So when I'm reciting it, I can recite it just like that. But then I have to stop here mentally and turn the page. And then it's over there, you know. So, you know, <laughs> learning, it's a funny thing. <laughs> Everybody's different. Let's see, what are they talking about? I see big smiles here. Let me go back. I think many, yeah. Okay, okay, we're up to date. I didn't see any more questions. They're laughing and having fun in there. That's good. They're not laughing at us. They're laughing with us. <laughs> Whatever works. I like that attitude. Whatever works. I know, if I had gotten used to Adobe... <laughs> first, then that would be probably what I would stick with. No brain may be better than being neurotic. Now, that's a sentence that needs either <laughs> extra punctuation or um, to hear the person's tone. Because <laughs> you, no brain may be better than being neurotic well i don't know if i'm neurotic i'm i'm not sure of the definition of neurotic <laughs> my sister worked with um adult uh it's uh department of children and families and the adult care you know for seniors uh for a long time and she was so good at that but she said that i mean she worked with a lot of people with mental differences you know um and and emotional problems and so forth. And uh, she said, and I, I heard this from a, a woman who's a doctor that's a uh, clinical psychologist has been at some of our meetups. We've had long talks and she agreed that a lot of people have a combination of things. They may not have a severe case of this or that, but you have just a little touch of this or that, you know, an ADD or a this or a that. So their theory was that we've all got a combination. Kind of like our genetics, I guess. Uh, I mean, tweaking your brain, whatever works, okay. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Well, guys, you know what? I have to still go back and set up a camp. Today oh. at my the campground that I've been at, uh, my reservation ran out at the site that I was at, and I couldn't reserve it any longer, so I had to move camp today. So I got to go back and set up camp completely. And I'm driving out through the woods here. It's about uh, 12 miles that I have to go. And I keep seeing dead deer alongside the road. And I feel very sorry for the deer, but I don't want to hit one because of me and my car either. So I go really, really slow. It takes me twice as long to get back. I think that was what they got last week. Uh, yes, we do. I need to go get settled in. I do, I do. Um, so we'll have to do this again sometime. This has been fun. You again. Um, so we are going to. Can't, I'm, can't, I'm not here. Oh, now your sound's back. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, say goodnight, everybody. I'm sad to see it go, too. And thank you all for sticking in here with us. And thank you for the super chats. Um, 
and we will see you next time. We should t- try doing this um, weekly again, or I should try to do it at weekly. I know that you got to get some videos up because we want to watch. <laughs> I'll work on it. Yes, thank you, Lulu, and thank you, Linda, and thank you all who have been here, and thank you for the super chats. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.